But this is an Amazon. This is an Amazon haul because we love two day shipping. Prime is really that girl. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a new kind of video that I've never done before on my channel. As you guys know, I'm a DIY queen when it comes to my nails. Let's do a little nail cam, nail cam, nail. you know, she's very cute. She's very, very cute. So as you guys know, I do my own nail sets and a lot, pretty much like all of the nail, um, tools and and products and just things that I buy is all off of Amazon. So I was like, why don't I do an Amazon favorites but DIY nail edition. So that's what today's video is gonna be all about. I'm very excited to share with you guys my favorite items that I literally use like every single time that I do my nails. So if you guys are interested in today's video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button as well. We upload three times a week on this channel, okay? Period. Okay, so if you guys want to turn on your post notifications, that would be so greatly appreciated. I love you guys so much, and yeah, let's just get right into this video. Like I was saying, literally every single, when I first, first started doing my nails, um, for myself, like sets like this, you know, shorter sets, just doing my own nails, I literally found everything that I needed off of Amazon, um, and I've been doing that for a very long time now. It's been about probably like two years since I started doing my nails. My favorite method um, with doing my own nails is poly gel. So if you guys aren't familiar with what poly gel is, it's a hybrid between builder gel, like liquid gel, or builder gel, I think that's the technical term for it, and acrylic. It's like if those two had a baby, that's what poly gel would be. It's like the texture of it is kind of like Play-Doh or like clay, so you can shape the poly gel and you can pretty much, you know, make any anything out of poly gel. Like you can do long nails, you can do short nails. But yeah, I started doing my nails like two years ago. The first item that I ever bought was a poly gel um, kit, I believe. It had a couple of different shades of poly gel in there, and then it came with like a brush, and it came with a little slip solution. And I was just getting it because I was like, I wanna try and do my own nails. Like at the time, I wasn't able to go to uh, nail tech and get my nails done. I don't think I could afford it at that time. I was working a part-time job, you know, like, I, I, I wasn't trying to spend a hundred dollars on my nails, you know, so. I was like, let me get this little set. Let me, I was watching some of my favorite like DIY nail queens and I was like, I think I can do this. Like, I feel like I can do this. So, and these, these are like my more recent um, purchases, but also just like my overall favorites when it comes to Amazon and like DIY nail stuff, like do it yourself um, or just like nail items that I need to read up on. The first one I'm gonna show you guys is this McCart Nail Extension Gel, and I have it in the shade Daydream. This is the poly gel that I actually used for this set as well, and I used it for my last set, which I'll have pop up here. I feel like this poly gel color is the perfect color for doing like anything. Like this is just the perfect base. Like just think of like that go-to shade that would work on every skin tone, that would look really nice with French sets, or if you wanted to do designs on top of it, or if you just needed to use it as a base and you were gonna paint over it anyway with another color and you like, you didn't want to get clear and you didn't want to get white, like this is that, this is that perfect shade. Like when I discovered this shade, I was like, okay, no, like I always need to have this one, like Daydream. I think the first poly gel shade I got from McCart was like a pinkier one. It was like a bubblegum pink. And that doesn't work with everything, you know? Like you need, you need like a more neutral, especially if you're trying to do like nudes or like a, a neutral set or like a French set or something, which is like typically the kind of sets that I'm doing. So this, this is a must. If you want to start with poly gel, you don't want to have to buy a whole kit. You don't want to have to buy multiple colors. Um, and you just need like that one really good like base, base color. This is it right here, okay? This I, I swear by. Um, and I bought this off of Amazon, just the one by itself. So I do have a discount code with McCart. I am uh, an ambassador for McCart now. 
I was buying their products off of their Amazon store for over a year and you know I was using it in my videos and they, they saw that I was using their products and that I was a really big fan and they reached out and they were like hey do you want to become a McCart affiliate and we'll give you your own discount code so that you can share it with your followers so that they that way they can you know go and shop and save some coins and still have their very cute nails. So when I was buying McCart, it was from their official store on Amazon. Then they created their own website and with creating their own website, I now have a discount code. So my discount code will be on the screen. It's code Jasmine. You save 15% off your entire purchase. Um, so if you want to go use that on their website to get that, or if you want to get some other stuff that I'm going to mention, you can definitely do that too. Okay, period. But this is an Amazon. This is an Amazon haul because we love two-day shipping. Prime is really that girl. The next thing, you guys, hold on, let me get it out. The next thing that I literally use in every single nail video, I've used it in every single nail video since I purchased it. Jellish kit right here. It comes with a foundation, it comes with a dehydrator, it comes with a top coat, and then it comes with a cuticle oil. This right here, this is very important. This is going to, this whole little kit, every single bottle gets used every single time. You need the nail prep, okay? You need the dehydrator, it's very important. You need the foundation because that's what allows the poly gel or any gel product to adhere to your natural nail after you buff the shine away. You need the top coat and then you need cube oil. Like it's literally so, so, so necessary. I never, ever, ever go without it. The quality of the base coat, the top coat, everything is super nice. Whenever I do my sets, like they stay shiny. Like you see how they're really shiny. They stay shiny the entire two or three weeks that I have on. Like the last that I had on for three weeks and they were still like really nice to the point where people were complimenting me on them like three weeks later and I was like, oh, they look so, and they were like, no, they look so good. Like this is so necessary. I swear by this, this jellish kit right here. And I say it in every single nail video, but like, I feel like you guys think I'm just saying that, but like, I'm so dead ass when I say this. Like, this saved my life because like what, what was i doing before and these bottles are still like damn near full like my cuticle oil is full i don't know how much left of the foundation i have but i know i have more than half a bottle it's so long lasting like the actual just product itself you don't need a lot i only do a single layer of top coat like the little nail prep this nail prep bottle is full like so good literally so good i think I don't want to say any of the prices wrong, so I'm just going to have them on the screen, but it's definitely worth it, sis. Like, if you plan on doing your own nail sets, like, going forward, if it's something you want to get better at, um, something that you want to continue to practice and do on yourself, like, that, that right there, that's, that's the reason why my sets last up to three weeks. I've had sets last up to four weeks, a whole month. Come on. Girl, come on, stop playing with them. The next thing that you obviously need if you're doing your own nails at home, if you're trying to be a DIY nail queen, is a UV lamp. Like, it's so necessary. So this is the one that I have that I purchased off of Amazon. I specifically wanted one that didn't have like a back, like a back wall so that my fingers would have to stop. Like I wanted one that was like completely, it, I feel like it just makes it so much easier cause I, I'll have my hand here and I'll just plop this over and it has a little sensor. So once it's placed over your hand, it turns on. Um, but then it also has two timers. So it has a 30 second, and then it has a 60 second button. This is very necessary if you're using poly gel, if you're using builder gel, um, you definitely need any kind of gel products, the top coat, the base coat, and the um, and the gelish kit, like you need a UV lamp. And this I know for, for a fact was only $20, like it was $19.99. And I've had it for a really long time. She's getting a little beat up, you know, there's like some product, she's not the cleanest or anything, but she does what she needs to do. She works very well, she was very inexpensive, and I love it. I use it when I do my pedicures because I only do gel polish on my toes. I'll just put it over my foot and I'll cure and then I'll just pull it away. And it's just so easy. And it comes with um, a little 
adapter cord so it just plugs in here and then the other end plugs into an outlet. That is extremely, extremely, extremely necessary for doing your own nails. Like I feel like, I mean, I obviously use it with every set because every set is poly gel and gel based, so. The next Amazon purchase item that is so completely necessary for when you're doing your own nails is this electric e-file, but it's a handheld e-file. So it comes with a single wire that plugs straight into the outlet and it's really long. And then it comes with a bunch of different um, drill bits. So you have like the metal ones in here that it comes with. And then there's some um, of the, what are these called? This, the bands, the sawing bands, I don't even know. But then you get a whole pack of them too to replace. These are bigger pieces, um, I feel like, to use on your toes for a pedicure or just if you have wider nail beds. This one I use more, like this this little, these right here I use all the time. I use the narrow one for doing around my cuticle area or if I have to clean underneath my nail. I know that these can be very intimidating, right? Like e-files can be very intimidating because they go really fast and you don't want to hurt yourself. You have to like kind of be quick when you're using it. You can't hold it in one area for too long because then you'll feel that heat on your nail and it'll hurt. This was something that I had to get adjusted to because for a very long time I was just like, I'm gonna just use my nail file. I'm gonna just use my nail file. It gets the job done. I can still do my nails. But when I tell you, when I switched over to this, it cut my nail, my nail time down by like half. Like when I tell you I was spending six, seven, sometimes eight hours on a set because I'm filing, I'm filing uh, the shaping of it or I'm buffing my nails. Like literally this is so necessary. And then also like, the way that this buffs your nail is not the same as what like a nail file would do and I felt like with using just the nail file my sets didn't last as long. This is a very quick like easy like one two kind of just a boop and then come down you know like and this was only $20. <laughs> this e-file, this handheld e-file like it doesn't have that big bulky base. Um, and it came with all of these tips and it was 20 bucks. That was another reason why I held off on buying it for so long because I'm like, oh, it's gonna be expensive. Like, I don't feel like spending like $100 on an e-file. Girl, Amazon had it for 20 bucks. At that point, it's like, it's a steal. It's like, even if I don't use it all the time or if it takes me a while to get used to it, like, it still was only $20. At that point, it's like, you can't go wrong, sis. You just can't. So don't, don't say I didn't tell you, don't say I didn't tell you. I'm trying to put y'all into the game because I get questions all the time like, oh my gosh, like how did you do this? Or what product did you need for this? And like, I'm trying to let y'all know. Okay, we're gonna go into some of my favorite gel colors. Okay, so everyone needs like your go-to gel colors for when you're trying to achieve the simplest sets. Like if you wanna just do white gel polish on your toes or you need to do a French set and you need the white. Um, or you mean black. I really, really like this gel polish brand that I found on Amazon. They range from about, I think, seven to eight dollars, um, depending on the color, I believe. But I have white and I have black here. These get used all the time. Like, probably the white the most, actually, because I don't use black that often. But I really love the shine of these gel polishes. The brand is V-Shine. Everything will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. The white, honey, this white, this is my second white. This white gets used all the time, okay? It doesn't chip, it's very long wearing. I'll put white polish, I'll do white gel toes, and my toes will literally stay perfect, like no chips, no nothing, still shiny, all of that, for a month, sometimes six weeks. Isn't that crazy? I've had my pedicure that I have on right now that it so badly needs to get done because it's just growing out. It hasn't even chipped or anything, but I've had it on for five weeks already. Like I'm, I love it and it was only $7. Like I feel like when I go to stores in person to try and buy gel polish, they're like extremely expensive and I just don't understand why because I'm like, this is on Amazon for $7. Like, 
why is this gel polish 15 for one bottle? Like that's absurd to me. <laughs> I don't wanna pay that. <laughs> and this is like, these are the big bottles. They're not like the little ones. Cause a lot, a lot of the times when you order gel polish off of the internet, they become in these tiny little bottles. And I'm not with that, you know? Like I need my white and I need my black just in case. This is the white, very opaque. Um, two coats and she's fully opaque. She's not see-through, she's not sheer, none of that. Same thing with the black. Um, so I just really, really, really like these. Okay, so I wanna talk about some tools that I'm always using that I literally use with every single set. A bunch of various tools, so nail file, um, I have a buffing sponge, I have a poly gel brush. This you can purchase separately and it doesn't have to be the McCart one, but I really do love the McCart brush. Um, this is a cuticle pusher. This is to cut your tips down. So you like, you know, you stick your, your nail in here and then you cut the tip off. Very important if you're like using tips the way that I do, or if even if you're using like full cover soft gel nails like these where you have to cut them down, like you need this. Like this is not even up for question at that point. You need one of these so that you can cut your sets down because you the way that they come like full you might not want your nails to be that long so but all of those items will be linked below and then more recently i wanted to get some more gel polish colors but i wanted a spring set and i was looking for a set because i knew that there were multiple colors that i wanted and i wasn't sure like what kind of set i was going to do with them but i just wanted a bunch of different colors but this is what the box looks like it's from a cart but i purchased it I did purchase it off of Amazon because I needed it in like two seconds. Yeah, I needed it for a video, so I ordered it on Amazon. And honey, I, I just love McCart's products anyway, but these are so, so, so good. They are the um, smaller bottles, so these are eight milliliters. It's 0 0.27 fluid ounces. You get a base coat and a top coat that comes in here. There's 12. 12 little bottles in total and all of these are spring pastel colors you got lavender in here there's a baby pink there's like a petal pink there's a coral there's a magenta there's a mint um there's a peach color blue yellow it's like so pretty i'm gonna have up the set that i did using these colors super affordable and i just liked that it was kind of like a curated set I'm definitely going to be using this again so if you guys want to see another tutorial with the pastel colors then give this video a thumbs up and leave it down below in the comments I can't find it and I feel like I don't have it with me but there are these two I'm gonna put up my my cart history my purchase history from Amazon but there are these little um, bowls that I bought I think for $8 off of Amazon to soak your fingers in. Any soak off gel based products or if you want to soak your cuticles so that you can like clean them up. Um, and they were $8 and they're pink and they're really cute and they sit with your, like your hands just kind of sit in them. Um, I purchased that and I really, really like it. Um, I feel like it just makes the job easier. Okay, so another gel polish set. Okay, so another gel polish set that I purchased recently off of Amazon was this Beatles set. Are you gonna focus? There you go. Um, this Beatles gel polish set, and this is actually the set, the set of gel polishes that I use for my nails that I have on currently, where it's a bunch of nudes and browns. So they have all of the colors with the numbers right on top. So it ranges from like a really, really pale um, kind of nude all the way to like a super dark blackened brown. Um, you get six of them. This is like $15 for all six. If you do the math, can we do the math on the screen? Do the math. That's very inexpensive. Very cute. The bottles are smaller than the other ones that I showed you, but Honestly, colors like these, you're probably not going to use like all the time. So these bottles will last you a really long time. And again, no chipping. They're very high shine. They're very cute. They were nice and opaque. I did two sets actually with this gel polish set. So I'm going to have both of them pop up <laughs> next to me. But I absolutely love these. I just love how inexpensive they are. They came in two days and 
yeah so they have a bunch of other different sets too like with different colorways or whatever so that is all of my current Amazon favorites and just like my kind of my OG favorites and my current um, Amazon favorites that I purchased. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Comment below if you guys do your own nails or if you're planning on doing your own nails or if you've watched some of my videos and they've inspired you to do your own nails. If you guys like these kinds of videos, then make sure you let me know that down below because I want to do these at least once a month. I feel like I'm constantly purchasing things on Amazon. Um, I'm actually, I know for a fact that I'm constantly purchasing things on Amazon. So I definitely want to do more Amazon hauls. So if that's something you guys would like to see from me, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Let me know. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and join the tribe. We are 66,000 deep on YouTube. I literally can like, I feel like I'm, I'm right there. I'm right there with 100K. Like that's the goal by the end of the year. So please click the subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications, all that fun stuff. I upload three times a week, that's six. Three times a week, <laughs> um, there are new videos, so make sure your notifications are turned on. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. 